Okay, hi everybody. Um, at the moment I am going to be making a lavender and lemongrass soap. It's um, with essential oils. The essential oils I've got is, uh, this is the lavender one. And that is from Zen Designs. And the lemongrass, which is also from Zen Designs. Okay, I am going to be doing the colour. I'm going to have a yellow, which is a sunshine yellow marker. And I've got the purple here, which is a name I can't pronounce. <laughs> that there. Should I give it a go? Amethyst, I think it could be. <laughs> it's like a purple. And those are both from Marker Your World. Okay, I've got, can you see it or not? No, it's not quite in the frame. But over here, yeah, looks a bit yellowy-ish. But it's, um, that is my lie. And I've also got, in there is um, a bit of water and um, um, goat's milk, frozen goat's milk. I've used, I've, I froze it and then did it. I got a little bit impatient, that's why it's gone a bit yellowy colour because I got too impatient doing it. Um, okay, I'm also going to add some rotor and mud into it over here, which is what this is what it looks like. Some of that good stuff. It's kind of like your clay there, like a clay, but it's our rotor one. Um, my recipe has got in it canola oil, castor oil, um, cookie butter coconut oil, sunflower oil, and like I said before, it's got the rotor and mud in it, and the goat's milk in it, and I've also got some goody goody silk that I am going to be putting in there, which is from a lady called, um, what's her name, Jill, is it Jill, I'm pretty sure it's Jill, yeah, I think it's Jill, <laughs> from, um, Felt Creative New Zealand, she's got, um, She's got um, uh, a, what do you call that, um, Etsy site, and she's also got um, Trade Me as well, and I've got her card in here, and so I will actually, I'll leave details in the description to her website and her email address or whatnot, so you can get hold of her if you're wanting any of it. It's pretty cheap what she has, so can't go wrong there. She also has the other sort of felt... Um, I mean, it's about silk. Um, it's, but it's a little bit more expensive. I can't think of what it is. She said it's, it's a much whiter one. But anyway, <laughs> so I've got that in there as well. That is also, so that's also in my lie. Okay, so I am going to move this over here. I put my gloves on. Then I'm going to add my, see, my additives into my oil. Put on me doctor gloves again. Dr. Opta, you're not in Guatemala anymore. <laughs> okay, only New Zealanders would know what that was about there. That's something from um, one of our TV programs called Shorten Street. <laughs> Okay, so let's see, what was I going to do? Um, add some of this goody goody gum drop stuff. I'm adding quite a fair amount of it because, because I can. <laughs> Because it's yummy, yummy goodness for your skin. Okay, and I will just get that all whizzed into here before I do anything. Because I want to make sure that it is um, mixed up really good. We don't want those, um, the mud or clay, some you call them, but it's a, this is a mud. Um, we don't want it, you know, all 
hard chunks of it throughout, so hang on. Extra goody goodies and a tiny bit, well, maybe a big bit, big teaspoon, okay, two teaspoons. <laughs> this is um, rolled oats, grounded up rolled oats or oatmeal, whatever you want to call it. It's all grounded up. So I'll just get that in there again. Give that the whizzy whiz. To make sure it's all through it. Yep, got it. A <laughs> lovely colour, isn't it? Okay, now I shall add this the um lime water. Sorry if I'm not as talkative as I would normally be, I am a bit tired. <laughs> Gently add that in there. Get all the goody 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 goodies out of there. Bubbles out. I think I got them out, yep. Yeah. Get that lie all mixed up in here. I just want to go to a light trace. Can't see it changing colour very really much because of the fact that I've got all those nut additives that are in there. Which all I am wanting with that. Goody, 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 it's into here. A bit more. <laughs> Oops. Dribble, dribble, dribbles. Okay, I'm going to add this as the yellow. Not sure. Not quite sure how these colours will actually um, come out because of <laughs> the, all the additives that I added in there. But hopefully we'll still have a bit of nice loss in there. Oh. And this 
last one will be the purple, purple, purple. I wanted the purple to be a, um, a like a lighter purple. I didn't want it to be a big, massive, dark looking purple. Am I still in the frame? I'm not even in the frame. Here we are. Here we go. <laughs> I may have to add some more people to this because yeah like I said because of the darkness of the foils and all the additives that I've added in there so let's see Is a weird looking color so I will add some more into there just to get it a bit more purpley <laughs> okay let's see how well, that little baby goes God almighty, I'm dodo. thinking of this purple <laughs> I mean it's a nice purple but because I've got it in with those um, um, other colors it's not quite doing what I would want it to do I might just I'm just gonna add a slightly little bit of titanium dioxide just to give it a little bit of a might give it a, a little bit of a light tinge there hopefully oh that's better that was what I was after Okay, and this one here I'm going to put the lavender essential oil into. <laughs> okay, as it's essential oil, you don't need um, too much like you would if it was um, um, fragrance. I want to make sure that's all in there. Yep. Yippers, yippers, yippers. I love this whiz. I really do, but uh, I do not like how it has those it's not totally round in the middle there but never mind biggest can't be choosers okay that's looking pretty good put that to the side for a minute let's give this a bit of a wipe down with my Paper. <laughs> Get rid of 
most of it colouring because it's not like those round ones where you can really get in there and get it all out. See how it's got right in here, see it's like a bump, bumpy bit there? Yeah, so it's like it catches on it. You can't just go around and clean it all up. Whoops, it's a right little humbug, but never mind. Okay, give this a quick little, make sure all the colours in there. Well, that's a very, very yellow. It's all good. Okay, uh, where is it? Over here, this is the land grass. We will add it to it. I like that smell. Anyone else like, whoo, make you get high. Okay. Okay, that's that there. Make sure that is well and truly mixed in there. Yup, 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 yup. Wow, that's like a gold nearly. It's kind of go one like a goldy kind of colour because of the um yeah, because of the additives that I added in there. <laughs> but that's oakly dookly. Sorry, I know this lighting sucks. I was actually looking at a lamp that I was looking at buying today. Just a, a cheap lamp from the warehouse to um, put up here or something like that. God, that's not too thick. Um, yeah, to add, um, so I can have a bit of better lighting or something. Okay, now you, let's give us a quick look here. It's clean, but just to double check. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just going to add this in here. Could you see it? Oh, I'm not in the way. Add the purple. It is a bit, it's a bit thick. It's not like uh, a problem thick, but it's just, it is thick. It's not quite as runny as I would have liked it. There we go, it's a bit better. going to be a very unusual coloured soap, <laughs> purple and yellow, yes so I've got to be different. I'm going to do a bit of a swirl in here. That's why I'm not too fussed how this is going in. I obviously don't want it to um, mix together the colours, but I don't mind if they are a bit um, all over the place. <laughs> because when I add, when I do my little swirly whirly whirly, they are going to um, be all over the place anyway. Hmm. Be 
thicker on the top there, isn't it? Get that goodness all out. This kind of reminds me of the colour of calf shit. <laughs> like a newborn calf. For any of those farmy people out there, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Or a newborn baby. <laughs> here it is. I want this here. My good old thermometer mm. so we'll use to make a go down the sides first then we will go wiggle 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 just a simple back and forwards motion and then back and forwards this way I'm going right to the bottom as I'm doing this. Going around the sides again. Pump that down. Give it another little bang just to make sure we get all those because I can see a little bit of bubble there. Get those bubbles out. Give it a spray with the alcohol. <coughs> did I get the bubble out? Yes, it did. And that's that. Ta da! <laughs> Take off my gloves. My glasses have gotten. I don't know if you can see it. Hmm. Can you see a little bit over here? No. No, you can't see it. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> it's got yellow mica on it. And I was like, oh, I can't see up that side. It was like I was blinded in part of my eye. Here we go. Clean that out. Yep. Now I can see again. Just get this a clean. Make it look a bit tidier. And there we go. There we have it. Zoom in for you. Bring it up to you. Oh, there we have it. Can we get real close? Might go too blurry. So, that there is purple and yellow. Oh, wrong way, this way. Huh. Purple and yellow, and it is um, lavender and lemongrass. So, I will bring you back tomorrow for the cutting. Bye! Hi everybody, I am now back with the cutting of our lavender and lemongrass. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I will first just cut off the tip of it. Mm. Looks yeah, nice, doesn't it? And it's got the Rotorua mud, whoopsie, the Rotorua mud in there. 
which of course excuse me is going to give it a little bit of grit in there I suppose you could see so see if I can show you that because I can see it oh bugger I can see it in my um I just changed that damn thing too it's freaking come off oh gosh I am going to just cut it like this <laughs> oh, look what that's done I knew that would happen with that one bigger Okay. It feels like it's going to do the same thing. It is. It's crumbling. No. <laughs> well, I guess this one's a fail. <laughs> because it's just crumbling. So I'll just use this one. Yep, it's just crumbling. Look at that. What a mess. Oh well. It happens, doesn't it? So we'll put that in there. And I will make probably a rebatch out of that one. I don't really want to waste it because it's such lovely fragrances in there. So if anybody would like to tell me why you think it has crumbled. Because it's just crumble. Just crumble, crumble, crumble. So if somebody could, um, would like to... Let me know why they think it has done that. It smells so good too. Um, yeah. <laughs> if somebody would just, I'm not even going to try and cut it now. Because it's just going to go bleep. So if somebody would like to tell me why they think it has done that. I'm just going to cut it up into little bits. Um, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> I'd like to see what you guys think and why you think it's done it. I might be able to use this as a um, like a rebatch with some um, embeds in it. I'll use them as embeds maybe because it is a really nice soap. Uh, like the fragrance is nice. I really don't want to be wasting it. So we'll just cut it into some bits and blobs what a bummer eh what a bummer just trying to think what may have caused that in here because it's a recipe that I have used a lot. It's one of my basic recipes that I use a lot. But, um... I don't normally add the... Um... Mud in there. And this is the first time using the silk. And I'm pretty sure the silk wouldn't have done this, would it? And I've never used silk before, so I'm I really don't think it's the silk that's done it. But I mean because a lot of people use silk in um, every bar they make. And I haven't used much silk. <laughs> Only a tiny little bit, like maybe this much worth 
which I um, put it into my lye. My lot, yeah, the lye and goat's milk. Maybe that's why, because it was with lye and goat's milk and not with like not with the water. Oh, I don't know, but it's definitely a crumble mess. <laughs> Fun times. And it was quite a pretty looking soap too. I don't even think I'm going to be able to use this in a re. I mean, in a um, in a in beds because it's just too crumbly. I think I will just have to make a rebatch out of it and see what happens with a rebatch. let down eh guys I was really looking forward to that soap too look at this because so I've got a um, couple of events coming up so in the next couple of months so I'm needing to get some more I've got a whole lot of soaps here still but needing to get a few more um done so I've got some more <laughs> yeah alrighty well that was a complete <laughs> but hey that's okay we live and we learn and um you know you just you learn from it so I don't know what I'm going to do with it or what's made it do this really so I mean it's really really crumbly going to have to look into that and I'm hoping some of you guys will give me some good advice and tell me why you think it's done that um I'll zoom in there so you can have a good look it's not focusing very well look Okay, thanks everybody, <laughs> bye.